Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to install Cave Story on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. Now this is an awesome freeware game that everybody needs to experience. It also goes by another name. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it because I've never heard it pronounced. It's something like the Kotsu Monogatari. I don't know if that's it. I probably just butchered it, but I know it as Cave Story. So with the recent release of Cave Story on the Nintendo Switch, I wanted to show you guys how to install it on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. Pretty easy to do. Your Raspberry Pi will need to be connected online. I'm using Ethernet, but Wi-Fi will work also. We're gonna go to the RetroPie menu and scroll down until we see RetroPie Setup. From here, we're gonna go to Manage Packages, Manage Optional Packages, and scroll all the way down until we see LR NX Engine or LR NEX Engine, however you want to pronounce it. It's right here. Click OK. Install from binary. Click back. Click back. Back. Exit. OK, so now we need to go get the game and transfer it to our Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be using my PC to do this, and I'm going to transfer the game over network. My Raspberry Pi is connected to the same exact network as the PC I'm transferring the game from. Let's head over to the PC. We're going to download the game and transfer it over to our Raspberry Pi. So all the links I'm going to show you right now are in the description. If you run into any trouble at all, check out the RetroPie wiki page on Cave Story. It tells you everything you need to know. Read through this before we get started. Now we need to go and get the game. Links in the description. From this page here, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see the RetroArch logo. And we're going to download the RetroArch port source code. It'll bring us to GitHub, clone or download, download zip. So I'm going to take this and place it on my desktop. This is the next engine, libretromaster.zip. Right click, extract. We now have a folder on our desktop. We're just going to open this up and inspect the files. Data files. All we're going to need out of here is the data folder and the dakotsu.exe. This is the cave story game. I'm going to snap it over to the left hand side. Open up any file explorer, doesn't matter where it's located. My Raspberry Pi is connected to the same network that my PC is, so it's easy for me to connect to it over network. All I'm going to do is go to my quick access bar, and I'm going to type in backslash, backslash, all capital, RetroPie. Press Enter. Go to ROMs. Ports. Now that we're in the port section, we need to create a folder called Cave Story. Right click, New Folder, and I'm going to name it Cave Story, capital C, capital S. We need to place the data file and the exe in the newly created Cave Story folder. Data and our dakotsu.exe, or however you pronounce it. And that's it. We're going to go back to the Raspberry Pi, reboot one time, and we'll be able to play Cave Story. Okay, the moment of truth. We're going to press Start, scroll down to Quit, Restart Emulation Station. Yes. We now have a Ports option on our main menu. And we have Cave Story listed. And there you have it. You're now playing Cave Story. And if you downloaded the same file I downloaded, this should be the English version. You can also opt for the Japanese version if you'd like to. If you've never played Cave Story before, you need to go ahead and do it. Awesome graphics, amazing story, and beautiful music. That's all I can say. You got to try it for yourself. Controls should be automatically set up. You'll need to go through and find out what does what, but it's fairly self-explanatory. 
I'm going to press Start and Select to exit the game. The game also has a built-in save feature that works in RetroPie. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, because i got a lot more coming, and definitely try to play Cave Story. Such a great game. Like always, thanks for watching.